He survived the Battle of Ilovysk, where hundreds of Ukrainian soldiers were killed. He sustained serious injuries and lost his leg. He was forced to survive in a forest with no food for five days. He was captured by Russian-led militants and managed to stay alive. Volodymyr Donos is now featured on one of the murals at one of Kyiv's metro stations. My first thought that someone wants to promote themselves with the help of veterans ahead of the election. I know a lot of guys who are more worthy to represent us all. Volodymyr is shy and reluctant to tell his story. His wife convinced him to come to the unveiling of the mural. He didn't want to come, but I told him, it's not as much for you as it is for the people, for the youth, for the young guys who come back with injuries and think that their lives are over, but they are not, and you proved it. After rehabilitation, Volodymyr returned to work. He teaches physical and military training at a school. They mostly listen carefully to me. They know my story. Our town is not very big. Next to Volodymyr's portrait, there is a painting of a woman weaving a carpet shaped like Ukraine. I was walking by and said, it's about me. I love to embroider. The metro station features eight murals. They focus on peace, children's dreams, music, Crimean Tatars, and the destroyed city of Avdivka. The curators of the project says that it was hard to choose one theme. It took four months for the artists from Belgium, Brazil, Costa Rica and the U.S. to create the special works of art. When foreign artists come to work here, the format becomes more international. It's great when foreign artists come here and Ukrainian artists promote Ukrainian culture and art outside of the country as well. Today, street art is why people travel to New York and London. We would like Kyiv to be like that as well. For now, organizers of the project are not planning to expand it to another stations of the Kyiv metro. Reported by Artem Khomenko, UATV.